In the silent darkness beyond the planets, Voyager 2 continues its journey, a relic of the 20th century, still faithfully carrying out its mission as it drifts ever farther from the warmth of our sun. It is a silent witness to the vastness of space, a lone traveler venturing into the unknown. Now against all odds, it is sending us a message that has upended our understanding of the cosmos, a signal that has captured the attention of scientists and dreamers alike. After nearly 50 years in flight, Voyager 2 has detected something extraordinary, an elusive filament of dark matter brushing the very edge of our solar system, a phenomenon long theorized but never before observed so directly. This is not theory, it's direct observation, a breakthrough that transforms speculation into reality and opens a new chapter in our quest to understand the universe. Imagine living on an island and for the first time, feeling the current of a vast unseen ocean. That's what this discovery means for humanity, an encounter with something immense and invisible, shaping our world in ways we're only beginning to grasp. This discovery doesn't just add a chapter to astronomy, it demands a rewrite. The textbooks, the theories, the very way we see our place in the cosmos, all must be reconsidered. We now know our solar system drifts through a cosmic river, its currents shaped by invisible matter. The universe is not empty, but filled with hidden structures guiding the dance of galaxies and stars. For the first time, we've touched the skeleton of the universe, glimpsing the framework that holds everything together. The message from Voyager 2 is clear. The cosmos is more intricate and mysterious than we ever imagined, and every answer leads to new questions. The story began with a dream to see the outer planets, a dream realized in Voyager 1 and 2, launched in 1977. These missions were humanity's first steps into the deep unknown, fueled by curiosity and hope. Built to last five years, they've endured for nearly five decades, carrying our hopes into the unknown, defying expectations and reminding us of the power of human ingenuity. And now, long after their primary mission, Voyager 2 has delivered the discovery of a lifetime, proof that even the oldest explorers can still surprise us and that the universe always has more to reveal. To truly grasp today's remarkable news, we must journey back to 1977, a year defined by bold ambition, scientific curiosity, and a spirit of exploration that knew no bounds. In that era, NASA's visionaries gathered in bustling control rooms, fueled by dreams of reaching farther than ever before. That year, a rare planetary alignment presented a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, an astronomical event that would not occur again for another 176 years. Seizing this cosmic window, NASA launched the Voyager missions, sending two robotic explorers on a daring quest to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, the outer giants of our solar system. Voyager 2, assigned the full grand tour, ingeniously used gravity assists, slingshot maneuvers around planets, to leap from one world to the next, gaining speed and momentum with each encounter. At Jupiter, Voyager 2 revealed volcanic moons erupting with fire and dynamic storms swirling across the planet's vast atmosphere. At Saturn, it unveiled the intricate structure of the rings and the mysterious haze shrouding Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Each planetary encounter shattered our expectations, showing us a solar system far more diverse, complex and beautiful than we had ever imagined. Voyager 2 pressed onward to Uranus, discovering a tilted blue world with ghostly barely visible rings in a frigid mysterious atmosphere, then to Neptune, where it found the fastest winds in the solar system and icy geysers erupting from the surface of Triton, Neptune's enigmatic moon. The Grand Tour was complete, a journey that transformed distant, fuzzy points of light into vibrant, detailed worlds, forever changing how we see our cosmic neighborhood. These discoveries didn't just fill textbooks, they rewrote our understanding of planetary systems and inspired generations of scientists and dreamers. After Neptune, Voyager 2's mission was far from over. It continued onward, leaving the known planets behind and venturing into the vast, uncharted darkness beyond. It became humanity's silent emissary to the stars, carrying our hopes, our questions and a golden record of Earth's story into the unknown. Its legacy, a new vision of our place in the cosmos, reminds us that exploration is endless, and our story among the stars has only just begun. After Neptune, Voyager 2 embarked on the Voyager interstellar mission, aiming to explore the edge of the Sun's influence and enter interstellar space. In 2018, it crossed the heliopause, becoming only the second human-made object to enter the interstellar medium. Unlike its twin, Voyager 2's plasma instrument was still working, allowing direct measurement of interstellar plasma. 
Traveling over 12 billion miles from Earth, its signals now take nearly 19 hours to reach us. Its power dwindles, but careful management has kept its scientific heart beating. For years, Voyager 2 has been our sentinel, listening to the faint hum of the cosmos. Dr. Ed Stone once said, We expected gentle waves, not the sharp structured density change Voyager 2 has just flown through. It's as if we've hit a cosmic thread. This was the prelude to a discovery that would redefine our universe. Voyager 2's persistence made this possible, its journey continues to surprise us. The first sign of something extraordinary came from Voyager 2's plasma wave science instrument, a sudden dramatic increase in plasma density, unlike anything the spacecraft had ever recorded before. On July 20, 2025, the steady hum of interstellar space changed abruptly. The data showed a 40-fold jump in plasma density over just 10 days, a spike so sharp and sustained that it immediately caught the attention of mission scientists. This wasn't a solar shock or a random fluctuation, it was something structured, persistent, and entirely unexpected, hinting at a hidden order in the vast emptiness. NASA's team checked everything, every instrument, every line of code. The data was real and the implications were staggering. Voyager 2 was flying through a region of space that, according to all previous models, simply shouldn't exist, a dense thread-like structure in the interstellar void, stretching for millions of miles. Dr. Anya Sharma, lead for the PWS team, recalled, A 40-fold increase is astronomical. We'd never seen anything like it. It was as if Voyager had stumbled into a hidden river in the desert of space. For 10 days, Voyager 2 was enveloped inside this coherent structure which measured about 80 million miles wide, an immense scale even by cosmic standards. The data revealed a massive, invisible filament, a structure our solar system was passing through, hidden from view but unmistakable in the readings. Other instruments confirmed the phenomenon. Cosmic rays dropped sharply, and the magnetometer detected new, unexpected field lines, all pointing to a unique environment. All evidence pointed to one conclusion. Voyager 2 had flown through a filament of the cosmic web, the vast network that connects galaxies across the universe. This was not a random anomaly or a fleeting glitch. It was a consistent, measurable event that challenged everything we thought we knew about interstellar space. It was a direct encounter with the universe's hidden scaffolding, the very framework that shapes the cosmos on the grandest scales. The scientific community was electrified. News of the discovery spread rapidly, sparking debates, excitement, and a flurry of new research. Voyager 2 had touched the cosmic web itself, offering humanity its first direct glimpse into the mysterious architecture of the universe. So, what is this cosmic thread? Voyager 2's data suggests it's a filament of plasma shaped by the gravity of dark matter. For decades we saw only the dewdrops, galaxies on the cosmic web. Now, we've touched a thread. The background plasma density is about 0.05 particles per cubic centimeter. Inside the filament, it peaked at nearly 2. The filament was about 80 million miles wide, modeled as a long cylindrical river of matter. This is the first direct detection of a small-scale filament of the cosmic web. Theories predicted these structures but finding one so close is stunning confirmation. The implications are profound. The space between stars is not empty but filled with a network guiding the formation of galaxies. Our solar system drifts through these filaments as it orbits the galaxy. This could affect cosmic rays, star formation, and even the conditions for life. We've opened a new window into the dynamics of our galaxy. The universe is more connected than we ever realized. This discovery changes our map of the universe, not just on a grand scale but locally. Our solar system is not a solitary bubble but a vessel navigating cosmic rivers shaped by dark matter. These filaments are the true geography of the galaxy, the highways along which matter and energy travel. Galaxies are nodes in a vast, dynamic network. The gas that forms new stars may be funneled in along these filaments. The evolution of the Milky Way is tied to this cosmic web. For the first time we can touch and measure it directly. These filaments might even transport organic molecules, seeding young solar systems with the ingredients for life. The search for life and dark matter just got a new roadmap. Voyager 2 has given us a new way to explore the universe's biggest mysteries. Voyager 2's discovery impacts more than astrophysics. It challenges our technology and society. Spacecraft must now account for these dense, variable regions, they could pose risks or offer new opportunities like magnetic sails or resource harvesting. The heliosphere, our shield against cosmic rays is not moving through a uniform environment. Passing through a filament could compress our shield, affecting satellites, astronaut safety, and even Earth's climate. 
On a deeper level this discovery dissolves the boundary between us and the cosmos. We are not separate, we are part of a cosmic current. This realization can foster global unity and a sense of shared destiny. Voyager 2's greatest discovery came decades after launch, a testament to the value of curiosity-driven science. Investing in long-term research yields revolutionary rewards. Voyager 2's whisper from the void reminds us to keep wondering, what's out there? The scientific community is abuzz, this is a paradigm shift. Dr. Hakim Olusei called it the start of a new era. For years we studied the universe from afar, now we've touched its fabric. Dr. Linda Spilker noted, we must now think of interstellar space as terrain, not just weather, how often do we cross these filaments? The discovery bridges planetary science and galactic studies. Dr. Jill Tarter suggested advanced civilizations might use the cosmic web for communication. Perhaps we've been listening in the wrong places. The consensus? This is just the beginning. Dozens of new research avenues have opened, from dark matter modeling to new mission designs. Sir Martin Rees put it best, the universe is queerer than we can suppose. Every time we explore, reality exceeds our imagination. This is a humbling, exhilarating moment for science. We stand at a new shore, behind us the mapped solar system, before us a vast structured interstellar ocean. Voyager 2 has revealed that we are part of a living cosmic ecosystem, woven by invisible threads. This is a moment of transformation in our understanding of the cosmos. Human curiosity drives us to build machines like Voyager, to seek our origins and destiny. The universe demands patience and ingenuity. Voyager 2 embodies that spirit. With this new knowledge we will ask new questions, build better tools, and dream bigger dreams. The discovery of this filament will inspire new generations to push boundaries. The age of interstellar exploration has begun. The space between stars is not empty, it's a place of unseen structures and cosmic currents. Voyager 2's message is a call to the future. Keep exploring, keep listening, never lose our sense of wonder. Our journey is just beginning.